Hi there. You know, there's been a special relationship between cornbread and cast iron since the time when, well, since they invented cornbread. And if there's any dish that absolutely must be baked in a cast iron pan, it's cornbread. And they've even made special cast iron pans for making cornbread, and you can find these just about anywhere. At flea markets, garage sales, and antique stores, there will always be at least one of these cast iron cornbread molds. However, a lot of people have trouble using these, and the cornbread always sticks in the pan. So here's the way to use a cast iron cornbread pan and get your cornbread out of the pan without sticking. Cast iron muffin and bread pans have been made in all shapes and sizes, but this one is unquestionably made especially for cornbread. This particular one is a Birmingham Stove and Range corn stick pan, and we can tell it's a BSR pan because of the shape of the handle. Birmingham Stove and Range was also the company that invented this cornbread skillet, and they first produced it in the year 1967. The cornbread skillet was a huge seller for BSR, so much that Lodge and other manufacturers began making their own cornbread skillets as well. Birmingham Stove also produced a corn stick pan with a handle, and it's too bad the company folded a little while after, because folks who use this pan say it's a very convenient and great way to make cornbread. So if you're lucky enough to own a handy Dan corn stick pan, you've got a real collector's item on your hands. The secret to non-stick cornbread is to preheat your pan in the oven exactly the same way we would make cornbread in a cast iron skillet. No matter what shape the pan is, we simply preheat the oven and the pan until the pan is good and hot. This gives us time to prepare our ingredients. This batch of cornbread is done in a simple southern style and a true southerner will tell you you only need six ingredients for cornbread. We remove the pan from the oven, then add oil to the hot pan. However, I'll admit to using corn oil here rather than bacon grease because it gives the cornbread a good golden crust underneath. Once the pan is coated with oil, it goes back into the oven to heat up the oil. And we do the same thing with the second pan, coating the spaces with oil. And this goes into the oven right beside the first one. However, this oven is so hot, the first pan is ready by the time we're finished coating the second pan with oil. We simply mix the extra oil into the batter, then add the batter to the pan. And of course, one of the best parts of making cornbread is the sizzle. We set the first pan aside and add the batter to the second pan. Both of these pans will go into the oven at the same time so we don't overbake the first one. And both of our cornbread pans go into the oven. This will only take 20 minutes. Here we have some golden yellow cornbread from both the cornbread skillet and the corn stick pan. We only have to wait about a minute before running a knife around the sides of the pan. And now for the moment of truth. No sticking. And again, we do the exact same thing with the corn stick pan.
and here we are with two batches of cornbread, neither of them stuck to the pan. And as we all know, you serve your cornbread with lots and lots of butter. And hopefully this will cut down on the death threats I received from folks since I made a video of sweet northern cornbread being made with sugar. <laughs> However, whether you like your cornbread with sugar or nice and simple with only a few ingredients, uh, a cast iron cornbread pan is still a good way to present your cornbread and make it look nice and fancy. But no matter what kind of pan you use, it's still a golden rule that if it's not made in cast iron, it's not cornbread. Thank you for watching.